Hi there, Hermano here again. Today we are going to look at the second part of the video on how to install Arch Linux with GNOME on a MBR system. So in the last video we installed the base system, now we are ready to install the desktop environment. But before we do that, let me start the SSH so that I can go full screen and with bigger fonts. So I'll type in here system CTL start sshd and hit enter and now let me pull up again my body terminal here look at my ip by typing in ipa and i'll have your 192.168.178.64 you might not have internet yet so don't worry about that we'll configure this as soon as i'm up with the terminal And I'll log in as Hermano here with my password we created before. And there you go. Clean up the terminal and I go full screen. So, so as I said before, if I type IP space A, you'll see I have already an IP here, 192.168.178.74. Well, I have an IP because I already started Network Manager. You might not have an IP yet because you didn't do that yet. So let's actually activate Network Manager and we'll type in this command here. So if you're logged in as root, you will not need to put in sudo here, but I'm logged in as hermano. So I'll have to here put sudo. So I'll type in sudo system ctl start network manager with capital N and capital M. And once you hit enter, you will have a network connection. I'm not going to do this because I've already done that. And if you have cable, you will be already connected with an IP. If you have Wi-Fi, you will have to type in this command, NMTUI, and hitting enter. Once you hit enter, you will prompt to select your network, put in your password, and you will be connected to the internet. The third step will be actually to enable Network Manager so that it will start automatically the next time you boot into the system. And to do this, you'll type in sudo systemctl enable network manager and hit enter again i did that already so i will not do this but once you hit enter you'll be connected to the internet automatically next time so now that we have internet we can proceed with the installation of the video drivers so if you're installing this on virtualbox you can skip ahead of course if you're installing this on a computer with a video card in there you might have to install some drivers and i'll give you the packages for the intel cards and cards and nvidia cards so if you have an Intel card, you might want to install this package. I'll type in sudo pacman-s space xf86-video-intel. And you might also want to install the Mesa package and then hit enter. Of course, I'm not going to do this as I don't have any Intel card in VirtualBox. Now, if you have an AMD card, you would just replace Intel with AMD GPU and the Mesa package and hit enter and lastly if you have an nvidia card you would replace the string with nvidia and the second package is nvidia dash utils and hitting enter so once you have done that i definitely recommend you to reboot the system by typing in sudo reboot if you're using the user here and once you are at the login prompt you'll have your packages in place and we are ready to continue now let's proceed with the installation of the display server, which is the first component we need to install. We'll do this by typing in sudo pacman and the package name in my case is xorg. That's the display server I want to install. And I will hit enter. Enter my password and enter for default and accept the installation. So I hit enter. So there you go. The display server is installed. I clean up the terminal and the next step will be to install the display manager. Well, since I want to install actually GNOME as a desktop environment, the display manager for GNOME is GDM. So I will do this by typing in sudo pacman-s gdm and hit enter. Proceed with installation. Yes. So I'll hit enter. Again, it's going to take a moment to install. So I'll be back when it's done. And there you go. Installation is complete. So I'll clean up the terminal. Now, before we install GNOME, we need to enable GDM so that it's going to start automatically when we boot the system. And we'll do this by typing in sudo systemctl enable gdm and hit enter. 
There you go. Now we are ready to install GNOME. So let's do this by typing in sudo pacman s gnome. And I'm going to install the extra package, which is gnome dash extra. And I'll hit enter. Enter for defaults. Enter for defaults. And again, enter for defaults. Again, enter for defaults. And enter to proceed with the installation. So it's going to take a while to install all the packages. And again, I'll be back when it's done. So GNOME is installed. So I'll clean up the terminal. Now I will close the SSH shell here by closing this window and I'll go back to VirtualBox. And now I'm going to reboot the system. And if everything went well, we will be greeted by the GNOME login screen. So let's type in reboot and hit enter in the bootloader. And here we have the GNOME login. So I'm just going to log in shortly here with my password. And there you go, we have GNOME installed. Everything is working fine. And that's it then for this video. We installed Arch Linux on an MBR system. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you wanna see more, make sure you like the video by clicking the like button below and subscribe to the channel if you want to be notified of future videos. It really helps us out, guys. And if there's anything specific you want me to cover or you have any question, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.